Rise and shine. Didn't get much sleep last night, maybe four hours. And as we all know, and I've explained many times, especially to my clients, sleep is utterly important, but I've been having this neck issue I've been talking about, so it's been hard to sleep. But since I'm up now, and you guys are along with me on my journey, three weeks out, um, you know, this is what I do right now, I get up, and uh, check my scale, see where I'm winging at. The light's on here. Let's see. And as I suspect, it is uh, 183 pounds. So again, as I've explained to you guys before, in three weeks, I need to weigh 175 pounds. I weighed 183, so I, you know, I think we're pretty much on target. I did an hour of cardio before bed. As you can see, my cheekbones are starting to sink in, but this neck issue, my sternocleidomastoid has been killing me it's so tight right here. Lots of tension going on in my traps, up into my neck. I've um, been giving me some headaches and whatnot, but you know, that's part of this hard type of training and lack of sleep. And um, just that's this is the stuff you see behind the scenes, like I was telling you. So. Today, I got to get up early. My daughter is going to be in a premiere of a movie today, so we get to go see that right now. I'm nice, bright, and early. And I'm going to pack my food because we're going to be out all day. Go to my best friend James, his son's birthday. And you'll see the struggles I have to go through today. No training today. Um, probably when I get back tonight, I'll do some cardio. Um, but uh, um, yeah, I'm just hungry. You know, we've been on a, a four day f uh, fat cycling phase so I'm on day th four right now where I get to have a little bit of fat not much but uh, my energy levels are pretty whack right now but uh yeah other than that right on target <laughs> so uh that's it man talk to you guys later What's up everyone? So uh, I'm up and going now. Uh, before I go train, I'm gonna go in for a treatment of acupuncture. This will be my third treatment in the last two weeks. Uh, still getting those sharp uh, pains in the back of my neck, giving me uh, headaches. But I will have to say I'm probably about 50% better since I started this treatment. I wasn't too sure about acupuncture even though my whole family, three generations deep, do acupuncture. But uh, I'm a firm believer it has been helping a lot along with all the other treatments I've been doing. Um, but whatever it takes at this point, you know, the Olympia's coming up and, um, you know, for $50 to get acupuncture and relieve some of the stress and the headaches that I've been getting, to me, it's well worth it. Um, so again, I'm two weeks out, uh, I'm going to go train after this. Hopefully I'll relieve some of the stress and the tension and, um, you know, see what happens from here. This is not even a good light in the middle. Go back to the back, further, 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 back up. I like that right there, a little more. Yeah, right there. <laughs> wow. Okay, then one thing you and I have to agree on, sometimes we have to unflex to look more flex. <laughs> yeah, some certain area we have to unflex. Yeah. And most people, they're gonna go with flex and then they end up backfiring. Like when you do it and that breath, yeah. don't flex your chest. Mm -hmm. Relax it. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm flexing. Just look, keep your chest like that. And here the last breath, just leave your chest full because that keeps the roundness. Yeah, because I know yeah. it flattens out. Yeah. You know, because, see, look at all my pictures. You like focus on the arms right here yes. and the lats. And Look at that. I mean, it looks pretty. It just remains pretty. When you squeeze it, it's kind of, I don't know. I, I mean, I always do with beauty in mind. When you show it, where are you going to go? It's, it's, you know, yeah. you're right there. Yeah. You are 
perfect shape, yeah? Yes. But I would go like when I hit when I do yes. the chest, yes. I mean when I do the last breath, yes. the chest is completely relaxed. I would focus more here and wow. open the lap. Yeah? Yeah? In the last breath. Beautiful. And you know what we're gonna do? To be more on the right side, we're gonna do a flex and unflex pitch. Okay. And then you on this side. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. So let's take one. Hey, what's up everyone? So it is now officially two weeks out from the 2016 Olympia. Uh, right on track right now. I woke up this morning at a nice 179 pounds, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, last time I weighed this low, aside of my qualification, was back in 2004 when I was competing as a middleweight when I had to make 176 pounds. And uh, now as a pro, uh, years later, I'm not going to say how long, just do the math in your head, I need to be 175, which is actually a pound smaller than my middleweight days. Um, but completely different package, as you know, um, with the muscle maturity, the density I have now. You know, I have to say when I look in the mirror, I feel like I look like, you know, probably in the 190s, you know, a good light heavy weight, bigger than when I turned pro. But anyways, um, from this point on, now that we are two weeks out, there will be no days off of training, uh, cardio sessions every day, posing every day, training every day until I leave for Las Vegas and uh, we got to make wins on that Thursday night. Uh, for some odd reason, I feel amazing. Uh, mentally, physically, I'm feeling good. The acupuncture, chiropractic, the deep tissue, all of it has been helping. I had really bad migraines and headaches, as you know, for the last couple weeks, as I mentioned it. Uh, I'd say they're like 80% gone. I think the sleep has helped tremendously. Been taking melatonin. Um, I use medicinal. Um, we're in California, so it is legal here. Even if it wasn't, I don't care. I would still smoke because um, it relaxes my mind. Anyways, um, you know, I've already mentioned this a couple times in other videos, but the whole purpose of these videos is to show you what I go through the final couple weeks in preparation for the Olympia. So you've seen all our training videos, you see how everyone eats, you know, the supplements. I will share some secret supplements with you that I do use in preparation for the Olympia after this uh, competition. Um, Sorry, I just got cut off by some moron. Anyways, um, yeah, I will share all this stuff with you guys. Uh, but right now, it's more of the mentality that I'm going through. Um, you know, really drained. I eat. I've got about an hour of energy. Then the next two hours are basically suffering, thinking about food, trying to relax, um, you know, and just keep my mind focused on what's at hand. So uh, I'm on my way to the gym right now to train, and um, yeah, so far so good. Two weeks out, Let's see what happens here. What's up, everyone? Uh, it's Sunday evening. This is actually a Labor Day or Labor Day um, Eve, whatever you want to call it. It's about midnight right now. It's my daughter's birthday today, so I was. Pretty tied up all day today. Um, so now I gotta do my cardio again at midnight. Um, but this has been the theme, this is kinda how I always do it anyways, I do my late night cardio. Um, so like I said, two weeks out. I'm tired, I've been up since 6 a.m. Just uh, took my fat burners, took some other things that we will get into after this prep. Um, and actually I wanted to show you guys something that I'm not really um, afraid to say, I um, don't give, really give a fuck because the stuff, this type of thing works and it has helped me as tremendously is I've got my waist trainer on. Yes, I do have that on. Uh, what does this do for me? Um, it's pretty good. So 
you know, when I'm doing my cardio, it actually makes you breathe through your your lungs and uh, through your um, diaphragm, not through your stomach. Um, it does obviously create a little more heat in that area as well. Um, posture, the whole nine, and I do have some type of lower back problems. So I have been wearing it mostly for cardio. I can't really wear it all day. Um, it's not the most comfortable thing, and plus, um, uh, I really only want to use it while I'm doing some type of cardio to make my breathing a little more compromised and whatnot. So um, this is another one of the tools that I use this year. It's going to be uh, something new for me and I think it'll show when I'm on stage that my waist will be that's the uh, smallest it's been since my amateur days. So wish me luck. I'm about to knock out this hour of cardio.